Everyone, welcome back to part 14, as my colleague taught, tells me, not 15. Yeah. Yep. And we're back to normal 10 minute-ish ones. Yeah. Well, 9.45 to be specific. And, specific, and specific. fantastic news for you, Mr. Beach God. What, what? what? This is new content for us. Is it? We've, my we've God. We've recorded this before. We've not. Wow. The that monotony means that has some, ended. That means that at some point in the future we will be re-recording this because we've, you've just jinxed it. Well done. No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I've got everything backed up now. It's all right. my thingamajig. What they called? Memory sticks. That's the one. Flash drives, whatever you want to call it. So we're yeah, beginning the down final down scenario uh, of the main arc of Resident Evil One, which is the mysterious underground lab. So is this is this just kind of a summary of all the like Resident Evil games under three? Uh, yes, not including two, because uh, Resident Evil Two and Code Veronica uh, are going out in the dark side chronicles. Right. Uh, how they've sorted it out is that literally, as this is the Umbrella Chronicles, they grouped together all the games that are directly to do with, you know, like Umbrella. Hence. The Chronicles that are centered around it. Resident yeah. Evil 2 is sort of like um, uh, following two people who have very little to do with Umbrella uh, and their escape from Raccoon City. But there is more zombies, which makes it Resident Evil. There's <laughs> plenty more zombies because it's which is very observant of me. So, yeah. But I'm really looking forward to Dark Side because it's got Code Veronica, and Code Veronica is my favourite Resident Evil game. It is ready ahead. Okay. We've got just... Steve Burnside! Yeah! A lot of people I don't know who it. that is, but I'm going to act. He's excited. He's a gimp. Fair enough. And a moron and a buffoon, but we love him anyway. Well, I do at least. A lot of people hate him. Is that guy French? Because he's wearing a lab coat. No, I'm afraid not. Ah. Oh. Even if he was French, he's so covered in blood and guff that you can't quite make it out. Especially this guy. Crimson Head time. Now oh, I was wondering if that guy was a Crimson Head. Leads when I shot him. Come on. Let me kill him. No, it was very yeah. clever. There we go. No. no. Oh yeah. my god. No. <laughs> no. Come on. Wow, he went through the door. That guy. There we go. That's the spammiest zombie I've ever thought. Wee! The guff monster. Or tyrant, either way. They aren't zombies though, are they? No. Well. Yeah. So, uh, we just picked up some rocket launch ammo, so don't bother taking a rocket launcher from the menu select screen, as you only, you can only carry free unless you upgrade it, which you can't possibly do it if it's the first time through. Right. So don't so, bother. So what do you expect? Like machine gun? Uh, right. Yeah, I think this is our first instance of a zombie spewing its vomit us. Ah, that's nice. The, the zombies very often in the distance will spew their vomit at you. So, okay. uh, in order to stop the vom from hitting you, you've got to shoot, shoot it. it. Yes, of course. Disperse Everything it. sorted with shooting. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, man. It's quite nice Come to have bomb it up. It's because, like, for, for, for a little while, it was all about the nasty little animals. Yay, bucket. So, it wasn't a bucket, I'm sorry, I lied. Uh, what, what was that? Was that a can of paint? Or, yeah. I don't know. Wow, that guy stuck up uh, on uh, me. Uh, uh, uh. Get on. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Where's uh, old the so bomb face then? Shoot light. Shoot the light. Where's old Vom face? We killed him. We did? I didn't see him vomit us. And um, pretty soon, I think we're going to see our first uh, Chimeras. Chimeras. I don't know that is, but alright. Fusion of different things. There's one. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Pretty dodgy, spindly things, and they're an absolute bastard. To is it like a zombie spider? Basically, I 
yeah, I guess that's a pretty good analogy. They're abs they're an absolute bastard to fight. In the actual I game. don't mean like because obviously it's kind of a zombie spider anyway, but you know like a mixture between like a normal zombie T virus guy with a spider. I don't know if it's a spider exactly, but yeah, you know it's switching like a normal spider it's though. Chimera. Chimera basically means an animal that is used of two or more different things. They're pretty easy though. By the oh, same yeah. Way it looks. They're not very powerful, but they're quick. But yeah. a shot to the face would sort them out. But they're very spindly, and they can climb like on all surfaces as well. Someone can drop down on you. Which is annoying, especially in the actual game. Especially in this room, because it's so cramped. They're like spindly leaning after me, and you're like, oh god, stop spindly leaning after me. Yeah, they look a bit like guff monsters. The guff, um, guff zombies, but with more limbs. Yes. It's really annoying this scenario because there is an abundance of crimson heads. So bring your shotgun. We don't really need to because there's plenty of shotgun ammo hidden around here. Yes. When does so I recommend using your shotgun in the duration of the level when it comes to Mr. Boss Man. Use your machine gun type thing. So yeah. when does the um, thingy come in? Uh, and what do you call it? Uh, Guff come back then? It doesn't until the umbrella end scenario. Scenario 4. So, uh, so uh, for a whole so like for all these sub scenarios, and you have two sets of sub scenarios and one set of real out. scenarios. Isn't that awful? It's it terrible. On. It's gonna be without it for so long. Oh, I like know. No. Well, to be honest, we didn't really like it that much anyway. We liked saying guff, but <laughs> that was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, guff, guff. Now the elevator should work. How do they know? Like, oh, the elevator it just doesn't work. Oh, well, we have to go in this room. How do you know that? You've never been here. I have. Yeah. It's really, really dodgy because, like, the dialogue of the characters in Resident Evil is god awful, yet, like, the diaries and journals you find is, like, really, really good. I mean, like, Lisa Trevor's diary and the diary I mentioned in the last part were really, really good to read, you know, and, and they were really effective, and it's just quite sad that, you know. Read? What? Jeez. Read? What are we reading? I can't be asked uh, for reading. Yeah, I'm so used to you dying now. Shut up. That was <laughs> chaos on my part. I just can't aim my shotgun right. I have my good days and my bad days. This was a bad day. I think they're all bad days, Chris. Thank you. Actually, no. They're all good days. But your good days are still hey. not very good. <laughs> Okay. Correct. Actually, I better shut up because you don't know how crap I'm going to be on Halo 3 ADHD. I know how you are on Halo 3, so I, I don't think I have any qualms. Hey. Yes. If you, if you ever see this guy on Xbox Live, run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Complete Halo 3 meathead. Yeah. Oh, um, sick. oh, there we go. That got you. But yeah, I yep. don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. right now, yeah. I'm about 1,600-ish experience. That's uh, awesome! 42 skill, um, and I have 1,550 <laughs> gamers card. But yeah. That wouldn't make much sense, really, because that's just what I have now. I don't have a 360 machine. I've got a Wii machine. Where Obviously. <laughs> no, he just yeah, nicked game them. that I'm actually bothered for on like consoles other than the Wii is Fallout 3. It's, it's so beautiful. Other stuff I'm not, I'm not so bothered for. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't really um I like the idea of Fallout 3 and I like like the gameplay and everything. But I think generally it. I, We're right oh, to yeah. end there. See you next time. Well, that's safe.